Well, hey everybody, your good buddy 650 Eve here, and this is going to be my last ride on my 2021 BMW M1000 RR. If you saw my last video, I put the order in for the 2023 M1000 RR Competition Edition. So today, I'm going to ride this thing for the final time before surrendering it for the new bike. But our good buddy Frankie Flatfoot is here, and he just picked up a brand new bike from our good friends at Ducati Cleveland, a 2022 or 23. Penegale S, V4S, and it is gorgeous. I love the Marchesini forged wheels that are on this bike. It's still bone stock. You just got it a couple days ago, so you won't see any smackdowns from us today. Jerry is in the house with his Kawasaki ZXNR. Looking amazing. He just got some work done to it. Oh, he's got that Austin Racing exhaust on it. Super loud. But yeah, we're gonna do some riding hook up with some guys in Columbus, Ohio for some fun and shenanigans. That was close! That was close, Jerry! That was close! That bike is a lot faster than it ever has been! Don't make me bring out my butcher and Zed on you! I'm trying to play fair on my M1000, but that was a bit too close for comfort. see we picked up a collection of motorcycles here in Columbus and it looks really great. Dr. Gap is here and so is Abdul and my good buddy John Boy and my good buddy with his dry clutch Ducati that sounds amazing is here. Oh look at this an MT10. I love it. A great bike and then we, of course we got the beautiful Yamaha. Oh one sounds great and Mr. Greenwood the jolly green giant on his H2 is here with us. <laughs> this sounds great. King Killmonger is about to get killed by my beautiful M1000 RR. <laughs> it is this time in your hands off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys. This is going to be great. Man, that thing sounds nice. That 1098 sounds really nice with that exhaust. It's arrow. And they just don't make Ducatis that sound quite like that anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong. The modern Ducatis sound nice, but that's there's something very spatial about that exhaust sound. And just the overall look of that motorcycle is very nice. I think Ducati should make yellow bikes again. I mean, yellow really does it for Ducati, I think. Got him. Got him. Got the King Killmonger yet again on a different bike this time. Today, I'm on my M1000 spec in his arse. <laughs> Teaching him a lesson he won't forget on that beautiful bike with the gold wheels. <laughs> I probably should've taught him. <laughs> Uh-uh-uh! Uh-uh-uh, tough guy! 
stop and refuel and recharge and now it's time for me to face my good buddy John Boy on his M1000 double R. We weigh about the same. He does not have the thinner head gasket mod like I do. He does have an arrow exhaust. Oh gosh. No, I'm not racing you, Dr. Gap. <laughs> Unless I'm on my butcher Zeddy. I got Jerry! <laughs> yes! Yes, Jerry! Your bike looks great! Yes! But I'm faster today, my son! <laughs> yes, sir! John boy, good race. So it looks like Frankie Flatfoot with his new Ducati has found himself a new friend on a Yamaha. <laughs> Just look, he gets a Ducati and now all the girls want him. And she's on an R1 or an R6. Wow, looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Another clean victory on the mighty M1000. <laughs> he got his revenge. He got his revenge. <laughs> okay. All right, tough guy.
I hope the GoPro picks up that beautiful sunset down there because it looks amazing and so does Frankie Flatfoot's beautiful Pinnacle V4S. That is a 2023 and it's lovely. And Jerry's still upset. He's huffing and puffing back there on his dead that I've been smacking around all day. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds good for a stock exhaust. He's getting his exhaust uh, installed this week, guys. Keep watching. I'll be featuring him on the channel. He's going to have his break-in done, and he's going to be doing smackdowns, and he weighs 160 pounds, so before you ask, yes, he's going to destroy me. By the sheer, sheer weight difference alone. But until that happens, keep watching these videos, guys, and thanks for viewing. We're out here enjoying some beautiful weather here in filthy Cleveland.